do you think our viewers should know what are the key advantages of this technology? Absolutely. Thank you for visiting, Catherine. So let's start with what the understanding as we're here, everyone coming up, I've seen this before, direct metal printing. What oftentimes people are thinking this is, is on this video right here. Direct laser powder bed fusion, here you see a layer being completed. In this process, solid metal parts are being created. But this takes time. A print could take days. In our process, we're not creating in the first step a solid metal part. We're actually jetting our best-in-class binding agent, which is a liquid, a water-based liquid, that flows through our ink management system with a droplet resolution of 21 micron, and we're printing this on the powder to form the geometry. And this happens every layer, three seconds per layer. For a little bit on the process of jetting, how it is different from regular 3D printing. Jetting is the process where we have a proprietary binding agent that is a water-based binding agent. This is a liquid that has a viscosity of around four centipoise that needs to flow through an ink management system in the printer. What all this enables is at super high speeds, we are able to jet thousands of droplets onto a bed of powder with a droplet resolution of 21 micron, 0.021 millimeter. And by jetting that binder and that accuracy, we are actually gluing together the metal part particles to form parts versus laser welding, having a, a melt pool, and then actually creating a metal part at a layer by layer level. Because we'll do actual particle fusion, create a solid metal part, later on, similar to conventional powder metallurgy. Then this correctly, this technology has an amazing advantage in that is that you no longer need support, that you can directly print your sheet the form that you have in mind. Is that correct? Great point, Catherine. So, there's multiple levels of supports, but when comparing to laser powder bed fusion, you actually need, if you're, you need part supports because there's overhangs, there are angles, you have to support material. So you're actually laser welding that material and building, growing the part on top of that. In our case, because we're not creating solid metal parts in the beginning, we don't require print supports. So what would you say is the advantage of your particular technology to avoid these rough and grainy surfaces? That's a, that's a great question and it's always a challenge. Anytime you're doing layer-wise manufacturing, layer by layer building up the part, your Z direction is always going to have a higher degree of surface roughness. Your X and Y, you have better control. An average across the axes, here you'll see on P-series and sterling silver, this is what a as-centered surface roughness would look like on a solid part. When you take the average across all the areas, you're right at about an RA of 2.89. When you look at the roughest area of this part, going from bottom to top in the Z, you will find values in the RA of 7 to 8 to 9. The key is, this is how rough it comes out after sintering, but to get it to a smoother state to best enable polishing by simply media blasting it in minutes a batch of parts 70 psi with 316 powder you can get to surfaces in the 1ra very nice that's amazing that's much yeah. much better than the common pieces that i've seen thank you but it's definitely a challenge right talk a little bit about the hip process and you know what it does to the piece structurally but also to the surface finish Absolutely. Hip is very important, especially in the case of platinum. Platinum is a material, it's very difficult to densify uniformly because of the melting point. It's quite complex. But our target is always to have a minimum of 97% sintered density. With how we've characterized our porosity, typically we see it to a depth of about 0.15 to 0.2 millimeters. That's how deep it is from the surface. But it's well dispersed. It's not concentrated. With using hip and having sintered density at a minimum of 97, 
We can squeeze out all that porosity by adding 30,000 PSI of pressure at temperature for a period of time of a few hours. And that will squeeze out all the porosity, get the part to 99.95% plus density. And then 100% dense, the best polished surface you could obtain. Fantastic, that's a dream. Yes.